This is for the people who read the lore for Daniel Give Me Coffee. Please write Daniel Give Me Coffee in the comments. Once upon a time, in a far-off land where coffee beans grew as tall as trees, there lived a man named Daniel. He was a peculiar man with a peculiar obsession, coffee. He loved coffee so much that he had a coffee mug for every occasion, a Christmas mug, a Halloween mug, a Valentine's Day mug, and even a mug for National Donut Day. But one day, as he was about to take his first sip of the day, he heard a voice calling out to him. Daniel, give me coffee, the voice said. Startled, Daniel looked around to see who it was that had spoken, but there was no one there. He shrugged it off, thinking it must have been his imagination, and took another sip of his beloved coffee. But just as he was about to take a third sip, he heard the voice again. Daniel, give me coffee, the voice said, this time more urgently. Daniel looked around again, but there was still no one there. He was starting to get a little creeped out, but he couldn't help but chuckle at the absurdity of it all. He decided to play along. Who are you, and why do you want my coffee? He asked, trying to hide the smile in his voice. I am the coffee fairy, and I need your coffee to survive, the voice said sounding even more urgent now. Daniel burst out laughing. The coffee fairy. I've heard of the tooth fairy and the Easter bunny, but never the coffee fairy. You must be joking. But the voice was not joking. I am not joking, Daniel. Give me your coffee or suffer the consequences. Daniel thought about it for a moment. He didn't want to upset the coffee fairy, but he also didn't want to give up his coffee. Then he had an idea. Okay, coffee fairy, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you some of my coffee, but only if you can answer this riddle. What goes up but never comes down? The coffee fairy thought for a moment before answering. Age. Age goes up but never comes down. Daniel was impressed. Wow, you really are a magical being. Okay, you can have some of my coffee. And that's how Daniel and the coffee fairy became friends. They shared many cups of coffee together, and Daniel even taught the coffee fairy how to make a latte. From that day forward, whenever Daniel heard the voice say, Daniel, give me coffee, he knew it was just his friend, the coffee fairy, stopping by for a visit.